Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. Welcome sa vlog ko. Welcome to Pinoy Planet. Ako si Joey. Kumusta po kayo? Nagagalak akong makilala ka. Yeah! If you saw the first vlog of 2022, you noticed that I started to learn more Tagalog, di ba? I already finished chapter 1 of the book and now I'm ready to go for chapter 2. So this vlog is gonna be exciting guys because I will make a pandesal dough. But first, um, let's make uh, some Dutch food, okay? I'm gonna show you one Dutch meal. So Dutch food is really simple, okay? And what is so nice about Dutch food, uh, we call it stampot, you know? And I have a bag here. This is um, uh, onions and carrots, okay? Just onions and carrots, okay? Uh, and we call this hutspot. Groenten means vegetables, okay? And then here is uh, pork meat and potatoes. And we're gonna basically use these ingredients, a little bit of butter, and that's about it. Some salt, and then after that, I'm gonna make a pan de sal dough. It's gonna be exciting because I want to bring it to my parents, you know, a real Filipino breakfast. Uh, I want to make some enough pan de sal and cafe cafe, maybe idlog. And I'm thinking to actually uh, bring them some sausages, like a longanisa, diba? Okay, so for the Dutch food first, I'm gonna peel these potatoes. I'm using this uh, potato peeler, see? It's very easy, just like this, to get the peel off. And I think you call these patatas, right? In Tagalog, patatas. But I noticed that in the Philippines, it's very hard to get potatoes. And if you can get the potatoes, they're quite expensive, actually. Um, so I'm wondering if you can get uh, potatoes easily in your region, in the Philippines. So then, once uh, the peel is off, I just cut it in a few pieces, like that. So now, I wash the potatoes a little bit, add some water, and we're gonna add salt, quite a bit of salt. And then, let's turn the heat on, okay? Now, this is pork shoulder. It's about 700 grams of pork shoulder, okay? So I'm gonna fry that in a little bit of butter. Just like that. I think that's quite maraming. <laughs> I put a little bit too much butter, but it gives more flavor, diba. Right? Now the nice thing about this food, it's so simple, like I said. You just what you do, you put all the onions. Lahat. Let me open that back a little bit more, guys. Ah, that's better, no? So see how easy this is? You just put everything, the hot, and then you cover, okay? So we fry the pork shoulder in the butter. Now I can only fit three at a time, so I'm gonna put three first and then the other two, okay? I'm very excited for the new vlogs because uh, this is gonna be a continuous vlog, okay? So 2022, it will be continuous series on Pinoy Planet. Like I said, I'm preparing for pandesal dough. After this, we're gonna make pandesal dough. We're gonna make a nice Filipino breakfast for my parents. So last video, before this one, it was the 10 best moments of the food that I brought to my parents based on your recommendations, on your... Um, on the moments that you like the most. I got the feedback from you, so I put all together in one video. If you have not seen that one yet, you can uh, please go ahead to watch it. Um, so the next one is gonna be Filipino breakfast. So it is time to flip them over, the pork meat. Let's go, see ya. Yeah. Uh, not yet, let me, let me put it back because it's still not... Let's wait a little while longer. So flip them around and you see now they're becoming nice and brown, okay? And the onion, carrots, and potatoes are boiling. Okay, so the pork meat is done. Look at that, guys. 
So of course I've put a little bit of salt on both sides. Uh, so they, these are very tasty for sure. And now uh, we can have a look at the carrots and potatoes. We need a little bit more time and also I'm going to remove some water. So now I removed uh, all the excess water. There's still a little bit of water there, that's okay. And then we're going to use this thing to mash everything, okay? Just mash it. Okay, so now it's time to add some butter, okay? Always nice. I think about two tablespoons or so. That is very tasty. So, and basically that's it. So, I just mixed everything. The butter, the potatoes, the carrots, the onions. A little bit of salt. You can also add a little bit of pepper if you like. And then you just put it on a plate with the meat. That's it. So now it's time to uh, play a little bit of basketball. I'm gonna play basketball. I like to play basketball, so um, the sun is out. Let's do a little game, and then when we come back, I'll uh, try A this. few moments later. Mm. Whew. So it's evening, I finished the workout. I just had a workout, and now I want to prepare for Longanisa, okay? So, just a second. I actually bought these sausages today. Uh, these are Japanese sausages. But I couldn't find the longanisa in the store. I think they don't sell it any longer. So therefore, I'm gonna try making my own longanisa because it needs to be Filipino, diba? Right? Now, I will add a little bit of salt, okay? Some asin. Not so much because I also want to add a little bit of uh, soy sauce. Filipino soy sauce. Konti lang. Add sugar. Let's add a few. Then I have uh, sweet paprika powder. Okay. Let's add quite a bit of sweet paprika powder. Gives it a nice... Um, yeah, a little bit of sweet, smoky flavor kind of thing. Sarap, maraming bawang. Diba? That is quite a lot. So, then, I'm not sure if you normally do it, but I'll be adding a little bit of uh, Filipino vinegar, cane vinegar. So, just uh, maybe two, two or three. So it's time to mix everything and then I'll put it in the ref for uh, like two hours. You know, I changed my mind. Um, there's no black pepper, so I'm gonna add a little bit of hot sauce, okay? Just a tiny bit, kunti lang. And then in the freezer overnight, okay? We'll put, um, put this on the waste scale. Let's do like uh, 35, 40 grams. So then I'm just rolling this in plastic. I think the shape already looks like uh, longanisa, no? Look oh, it became many longanisa. And actually they're all 37 grams, but this one is only 33. Uh, let's put them all in the freezer overnight. Okay. Magandang umaga po. It is um, 6 o'clock in the morning. You can hear my voice. It's still early. We're gonna make a panda salt dough. But first, first we're gonna take out the longanisa. Uh, here they are. There is Poggy. Poggy wake me up at 3 o'clock at night. You talaga. So here's a bowl for the longanisa. Okay. And here's a bowl for the pandasal dough. I put them in a little bit of water. See. I'm adding approximately 250 ml of milk first. About 55 grams of softened butter. Isang idlog. One. 
one package uh, seven grams of instant yeast and we'll mix this a little bit 400 grams of flour 50 grams of sugar and finally 5 grams asin and let's mix lahat one more time now the question is can we go to the Philippines this year 2022 so it seems like uh, the Philippines has uh, opened for uh, tourists which uh, sounds really good so um, maybe I don't know yet but maybe there will be a chance for us to go to the Philippines this year uh, that would be amazing of course so the dough is needed uh, for now it's enough so we're gonna leave this for one hour covered okay now I will cut the longanisa or just cut the plastic open like this it's already easier to uh, take it out see There we go, that's our first Longanisa. So it has been quite some years for us to visit the Philippines. And so um, hopefully this year it will happen. And then I can finally cook in Pinas. That is my wish. So all the um, Longanisa, all the Longanisa is in. Now let's wait for a while and then after the water has been gone, I'm gonna put a little bit of mantika. Ang bango talaga. I am so curious to my uh, parents' Filipino food reaction. What do you think? Do they look okay? Uh, they really smell very nice and they look pretty good, I think. They must be very masarap. <laughs> 